artists. Today, Lucy is being so silly and she is dressed up like a sea turtle. Today, Lucy is dressed up like a sea turtle because we are going to be learning about a very famous American artist named Robert Weiland. Robert Weiland was born in Detroit, Michigan. When he was 14 years old, his parents took him on a trip to Laguna Beach, California. That was the first time Wyland had ever seen the ocean. And it was his first time to ever see a whale. That moment inspired Wyland to paint sea life for the rest of his life. Wyland has painted over 100 whaling walls around the world. We are so lucky that one of those 100 whaling walls is in Destin, Florida, our hometown. Today, we are going to honor the life and the work of Wyland, and we are going to create our very own sea turtle. In fact, we are going to create this sea turtle using color pencils and markers. Okay, artists, today we are going to learn how to create our sea turtle that will be inspired by artist Robert Wyland. The very first step is we're gonna go ahead and lay our template on our white paper. Make sure that it's in the middle of the paper and you're leaving plenty of room up top because we will eventually draw the head up top. Go ahead and take your black marker and with one hand hold your template of the sea turtle's shell and take the black marker and trace around the outside of the template. It does not need to be perfect, just try your best. We just need to get the general shape of the shell of the, our sea turtle. Excellent, so now after you trace the shell of the turtle, you are done with this template, so you go ahead and put it off to the side. The next step is we are going to draw the head of the sea turtle. We are going to start with an upside down U. So go ahead and start with an upside down U. The very next step is we're gonna draw two lines. The top of the two lines right here, we're gonna go ahead and trace over and we're gonna make a little bump. It's kind of like the nose of where the sea turtle is. We're gonna create a little bump there. Excellent. So this line just comes a little bit further out, saying that, hey, there's a nose right there. All right, now you're gonna draw two ovals on top of the black line for the eyes. Draw two ovals for the eyes. Excellent, so now we have the shell and the head of our sea turtle established. Now we're gonna draw the arms of the turtle. When you draw the arm, it should almost go off the edge of the page. You need to get as close as possible. So there's one arm. Now I'm gonna draw the other arm over here. Just try your best, no two arms ever look the same. So now we have the shell, the head, and the arms. So now we need to draw the legs of the sea turtle. And these are going to be smaller than our arms. Drew one leg, and now here's the other leg. Excellent, so now we have our legs. The next step is we are going to draw 
another shell inside of the shell we already have. So we are going to follow the shape of this shell, but we're gonna go in a little bit. So watch how Miss Schumacher does this. I'm gonna copy the shape of our shell and draw a smaller shell inside of the shell. Excellent. Now, I'm going to draw, I'm gonna do about two inches up from where this point is, I'm gonna put my marker and draw a, another shell inside of my shell. Excellent. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to draw another shell. So I'm going to go about half inch up. Excellent. Now, in between where we have this thick space, I'm going to draw lines connecting it. So it turns the shell into segments. Excellent. Now I'm going to stop working on my sea turtle. And what I would like you to do is you should get a sheet of doodle paper, of just scrap paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a sheet of scrap paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause at this point in our art project. And I want to do a quick review of lines in art. Because you see, in just a second, after we review lines, you will be filling in the entire sea turtle with different types of lines. Here I see cloud lines, I see spiral lines, I see horizontal and vertical lines, I see all different type of line patterns in my sea turtle. So, we are going to do a quick review of lines before we begin. Of course, we have vertical lines, lines that are straight across. We have horizontal lines that go up and down. And look, I can put a, a bunch of horizontal lines next to each other and create a line doing that. We, of course, have cloud lines. We have zigzag lines. We have dashed lines. We have spiral lines. We have castle lines. We have wave lines. We have hill lines. We have dotted lines and so on and so forth. So this is just a very simple review of different types of lines that we can use in art. And of course, there are many, many more lines that you can use outside of the lines that Ms. Schumacher is showing you right now. And it's up to you what type of lines you want to use. So for the next step of the sea turtle, you are going to fill in the head, the arms, the legs, and the shell with different types of lines. You can use any lines that you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin, and you can go ahead and do any different type of lines that you would like to do as well. So I'm gonna do spiral lines in this section.
I might do a zigzag line in the arm and then fill in tiny dots in the openings. Do short lines in this section. Wavy line. Cloud lines. lines Excellent. So go ahead and wrap up your lines and, and fill in all the different sections of your sea turtle. Once you are finished with your lines, you are going to go ahead and color in using color pencils your entire sea turtle. You do not need to worry about coloring the background of the sea turtle since we will be cutting the sea turtle out from the paper. So you will use the color pencils. You can use any colors you would like. When you are coloring with color pencil, make sure to press very hard with the color pencil so that the color is very vibrant and rich.
As you can see here, a lot of times when I use color pencil, I will put two colors on top of each other. I will blend the colors. That's great to do that. You get a very, you can get some very beautiful colors. Okay, so once you are done coloring in your sea turtle, you will use your scissors and you are going to cut your sea turtle out. Make sure to do this very carefully. Take your time. Okay, once you're done cutting out your sea turtle, Miss Schumacher is going to give you some glue and a black piece of paper and a color paper that you are going to get to use. And what we're going to do is we're gonna glue the black paper on top of our colored sheet of paper and we are going to center it. That means we are going to put it in the center of our colored sheet of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. I'm gonna take my glue stick, I'm just gonna put up a little bit. All you need is a little bit. And right along the edge of my black paper, I'm gonna press, you can't really see it here, but I'm pressing pretty hard. I'm going right on the perimeter. The perimeter is the outer edge. So I, all I need to do is put my glue on the outer edge. I'm gonna pick this up, turn it over, I'm gonna eye it and make sure that it's centered. Then I'm gonna press this on. Okay, so now I've glued on my black piece of paper and I've centered it on the color sheet of paper that you chose. Next, I'm gonna take my sea turtle and I am going to glue my sea turtle on. And it's okay, the fins hang out off the sides a little bit. If you wanna glue it on straight in the center, you can. If you wanna turn it to make it look like it's swimming, you can. If you really wanna make it go off the page, you can even turn it more on an angle further to the side, okay? So this is up to you how you would like to glue your sea turtle. I think I'm gonna glue mine straight up and down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over and I'm going to put glue along the perimeter 
of my sea turtle. Excellent. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to place it however. However you like, you can place it. And I'm going to press it down. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to use my palms to put weight on it to make sure that it gets glued down really well. I shouldn't have any edges sticking out. If you get any glue on your black paper, that's okay. It will dry clear. So I'm holding down, especially the arms and the legs, I'm going to hold down for a few seconds just to make sure it dries. Excellent. Now I'm going to turn my glue stick so the glue goes back down. I'm going to put the cap on. Make sure you hear the click. Excellent. And on the back of your paper, I would like you in the center to take a colored pencil and write your name in your teacher's name. And I'm going to write my name, Miss Schumacher. Don't write Miss Schumacher. That's not your name. I need to see that you're writing your name in your teacher's name. And then you can turn it back over. And now you have a sea turtle. If you would like, with your first name, you can sign the corner. You can sign right here or right here, but very small. Don't write too big. So I could sign my first name, which is Krista. You don't have to sign in cursive. You could sign in print if you like, and you can just put your first name if you would like to sign it like that. And now you have your very own Robert Weiland inspired sea turtle.